Part three. Let's get to it. Welcome to this third and last part of our processing workflow. And this time there's going to be no pixel inside. It's going to be mostly Lightroom. And you'll see why. So I have um, our image from last time here. So the M78 uh, TIFF uh, from pixel inside. And as you can see, it's really ugly because when you import in Lightroom, for some reason, it tries to auto-correct everything and it's just very ugly. Um, mostly, I think, is because it's not supposed to do it on deep sky images. So there's a few ways to try to fix that. Um, so usually try to play around with the highlights, with the shadows, and try to reproduce exactly what your image is supposed to look like out of pixel sight. And it's really annoying, like, um, it's almost impossible to get the same result, but usually if you manage to undo this automatic thing, then you can really work on your image well. So here, I think it's almost actually um, similar to what we had. So I'm going to leave it like that, probably. Um, yeah, so let's start from the top. Uh, we don't touch exposure and contrast, or we're going to lose some quality in there. Highlights, usually I try to bring it down. Um, sometimes all the way down, actually, um, which is what I'm going to do here, because if you see here, look at that. This is the default option, and all the way down. See how this, those gases here um, become visible only if you go down? So I'm gonna leave it down. And shadows, usually I bring them up so we can, get, we can see some more faint gases, but it also means we can see more noise. So I just bring it up a little bit. Uh, whites, I think I'm gonna leave it to zero because I don't want the stars to look super bright. And blacks, a bit down. Um, that's kind of the same as shadows, but I, I bring it a bit down just for noise purposes. Uh, clarity, for now, I don't want to touch it. It's good to, because if you, if you go higher, it's going to be very noisy. So and if you go down, it's going to be, you know, it's okay, but it's way too, you know, that's, that's just ugly. That's just, um, it's like a painting, you know. So for now, zero. And vibrance is the same, because we took care of the color already in Pixie Insight in part two, so I don't want to, to oversaturate our colors. And now tone curves, uh, highlight once again, I have to be very careful with that. I try to match the colors. See right now it looks like it's white and then it becomes blue. I like to make sure it's, it's a gradient, so maybe like right here. Here, that's fine for now. Uh, lights, uh, I don't want the core to be overexposed, so I don't want to go up. I think zero is actually good for that. Darks and shadows, I'm gonna make the darks a bit higher and maybe the shadows a bit lower, like that. Uh, this I don't want to touch for now. And the details, so. It's good to sharpen your image, but if we do it right now, it's going to do the whole image and it's going to make the background even more noisy. And for the reduction of the noise, it's the same thing. It's going to make our nebula all blurry. So we need to play with some masks here. So before I get started with that, I'm going to get rid of this annoying, ugly thing right here, which is probably a hair or some dust, I don't know, and this bending. Um, so that's gonna be very annoying. It might not be your case, you know, for your image. I'm gonna go with this one right here. And I'm going to try to, the feather should be enough, yeah. I'm going to try to be very steady with my hand. What a bad start, but whatever. I'm going all the way across, following what we want to remove. Here yeah, I have to be careful, I don't want to go on that. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not steady at all. <laughs> so 
So try to be better than me and if you have the same problem. All right. And so I like to... Let's try the temperature. Actually, it doesn't matter what you pick here, but... So, uh, I'm going to try to match the color of the sky, of the rest of the image. So I need some more reds. Uh, I can use tint, maybe. Yep. So I'm looking here first. Uh, that's too much pink. And that's, too, that's too much pink visible here and here. So I could have done this in several different parts instead of just one big line. But, um, you know, I try to play with pretty much all the sliders to get the best possible uh, washed out result. I just hate how it's pink here. So it's really bad, as you can see. And this is what I have to deal with, with many images, because I've been having this band for a while, I don't know how to fix it. This I know is by laziness, but this band, this I have to buy some sensor cleaner, but this band, I don't know how to fix it. And I try to, you know, do a better job later, maybe, off camera, because it's gonna take forever, probably. So let's pretend this is fine for now. And a new one is needed for that one, which seems like it's even worse, but it's actually a bit easier, I think. Oh, a bad job. All right, let's try to see what we can get here. I'm going to try saturation maybe first. Oh, saturation, no. Um, let's go with temperature. It's really, really bad. <clears throat> so yeah, in my images, I usually, I'm usually fine with that. Because I can manage to take it off easily here, but I, in this case, apparently I can't. You know what, I'm sure on Pixie Inside you can take this off much easier, but... In this case, I mean, it's just plain bad. Anyway, I don't want to bore you to death with this because you probably don't have a hair dangling around in, the, in your camera. Um, so I'm, I will try again, once again to take care of this bending and this dust thing later. So I don't put you to sleep. So let's get back to the nebula here. So I like to make the... Because here we have no choice. It's a really noisy image. So let's make the background uh, less noisy, less noisy, by you know once again doing some kind of mask. So I'm just going around here and trying not to get the nebula itself, at least not too much of it, and I'm trying to get pretty much everything else. Okay, that should be enough. Let's. Double check just to make sure. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and this is zero. Let's add some. I always forget if it's up or down for no prediction. Let's see. All right, so it's all the way up. So all the way up will make it less noisy. So we have so much noise that I'm going to leave it like that all the way. I could also redo the, uh, the sharpness, but I don't want to affect the stars too much. Uh, I could also do that, but that's way too much as well. Mm, for the stars at least. But yeah, so let's just keep it like that for now. And then I do the opposite for the nebula. So I grab the nebula. Okay, just only the nebula. A bit smaller for this part. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to add some sharpness in there. So if you go all the way, for example, see, um, if you go all the way, it's gonna be uh, very grainy, but if you don't do it too much, you'll be fine. So right now I think it's fine. Um, 
Actually, it's a bit too grainy for me. Yeah. So I'm going to go to maybe well, 60. And then that's enough. You could also play with that if you want to. Like for some targets, like galaxies is better. But for me, yeah. Just that's enough. And that's done. Okay. And I was going to. Oh, yeah. I see still uh, too much red around, so I'm going to grab that one once again. And I'm going to lower saturation just a bit. Just a bit. So now our nebula pops out much more. Sometimes I also use Pixel Matter or Photoshop if you want. Um, mostly for galaxies or star clusters to make them sharper. But for this target, I think that's fine. Um, my problem here is, once again, I'm going to repeat that again. It's only 1 hour and 10, uh, 15 minutes. So it's really bad. But that was a challenge. So as you can see, it's not too bad. I'm going to try to play around a bit more with it. Uh, off camera, because I have to take my time, you know. And... But yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much what I'm going to get out of this data. If you make the sky darker, you might be able to get some um, noise um, off. But yeah, it's really ugly, but I'll play around with it and I'm going to show you my last final image of it uh, right now. So it took me a long while, but I managed to get rid of this artifact. I was also able to make the image look much less rough. And I lowered the reds and the purples to make the background more grey slash dark, as you can see here. This is much better. Well, I really wasn't much of a help with this because I don't really know Pixinsight, but I'm sure you guys will do much better at least than me. That's for sure. <laughs> so, uh, we hope you liked the video. Don't forget to try your own with the files below and add it to Instagram with hashtag M78 Galactic Hunter so you can see uh, and see how, how you compare uh, with your own softwares or with your, with your own skills. And uh, we will add your image to our site. So we'll see you next time and class guys. Yes.